Well, they're back again on my channel, The Last Dinner Party, with My Lady of Mercy, which they dropped in the last couple of months, along with a couple of videos as well. So lots to entertain the fans, and there are lots of fans starting to emerge. And dropping comments on other videos of mine saying, please, not realising I have, react to The Last Dinner Party. They are an up and coming group and I call them the British Bangles because way back in the 80s the Bangles were the big phenomenon female pop band and okay you've had the Spice Girls and lots of other groups after that but they were the big big name of the music industry both in America and both on this side of the water now this is a British rock band the last dinner party consisting of five incredibly talented ladies who have come together and just started to creep up creep up creep up now when you appear on the Jules Holland show which they've done recently as well I say no matter what festivals or every anything that you're doing that all pales into insignificance because Jules Holland is a legend in in the music industry particularly in England and he was phenomenally popular when I was growing up I just looked to him for alternative music and his shows on BBC all the time because Jules Holland's relationship with Bob Geldof from the Boomtown Rats um, who died and that was Paula Geldof I look back on their relationship in TV and Jules Holland used to share the show with her but he kept it running long after her death and he's synonymous with picking out talent so if the last dinner party were on his show, thumbs up to you. You've got mine. When it comes to what a bit about them, it's very simple. They're an indie rock band from London, formed in 2021 and kicking ass at the moment. And they have, the band consists of Abigail Morris, lead vocalist, as you'll see, absolute standout woman in her own right. Lizzie Malin, vocals, guitar, Emily, lead guitar, mandolin, flute, Georgia Davis, bass and Aura. Nishkevsky, keys and vocals. Congratulations, girls, on starting to garner the attention that you're getting, justifiably so. This is the Lady of Mercy. What is it about? It is the story of a desperate desire to be with somebody who is as unattainable or out of reach. The lyrics convey a sense of longing, vulnerability, and admiration for this person. Wow. Lost, is it a lost love? Well, we'll have to go through the lyrics to find out. But in the meantime, let's watch the video. And I'll be back to give you my version of the lyrics.
have to say the last dinner party absolutely brilliant and i meant to say if i haven't it's coming from the prelude to ecstasy and there's a lot of ecstasy in that video track nine the the album will be released in 2024 i'm sure it will be released because of the demand that people are just inundating radio not radio stations but social media with saying this is the band to look out for now i watched a video recently that said are they there's a guy going around saying are they music industry plants i don't know what his um take is on certain people within the music industry but i'm sorry if you're on the jules holland program that guy and that channel needs to reassess itself because the last dinner party uh, with my lady of mercy is proving why they're not plants they are becoming just within the sphere of the music industry that breath of fresh air we've all looked at, looked for now when it comes to the lyrics it says take me back to your swimming pool you you lovely little mm. and then foolish thinking i could have you naked in a trench coat i'll see you on sunday I want to hear them sing when she want when she's talking about she wants to hear them sing we're talking about that part of the body when you're making love and everything is on fire that part of the body is singing verse 2 teach me how to do as you do guide me show me how and let me be your arrow baby make me pow I'll see you on Sunday I want to hear them sing and then the chorus, oh, rest your feet to me, my lady of mercy. Strike me, pierce me, straight through the heart. And lots of oohs and ahs. And the song, as I said, it's about unattainable love, out of reach, that kind of thing. And the lyrics convey that sense of longing, doesn't it? That first verse, the lyrics suggest a yearning to be intimate, as we all know. We've seen it in the video and acknowledging the foolishness of thinking it could happen because sometimes when you desire somebody so so much that's out of reach they are out of reach and they're so out of reach of you they're unattainable but it doesn't stop you desiring or wanting i mean we've all grown up with pop stars we've desired wanted and gone to their concerts but film stars we all so when it comes to one-to-one -one, i don't think it's too strange when you see somebody you desire them so much but you know in your heart of hearts they're unattainable and that's frustrating and that's hurtful as well because you do build up a bond almost it's like a false bond but still it happens and the reference to a swimming pool symbolizes a place of inter intimacy or vulnerability today with my words and other videos in this one hmm. um, while the mention of a trench coat portrays a sense of mystery and allure Let's go into the second verse and see what they have to say. It says, teach me how, how to do as you do, it said. Guide me, show me how, and let me be your arrow. Baby, make me pow. And I'll see you on Sunday. I want to hear them sing. And as I said, it's a prelude to, you know, a good time. It's a prelude to, I want a bit of fun with you. But... It continues that theme of wanting everybody to emulate and learn from this person seeking a guidance hoping to be their arrow suggesting a desire to be directed even Contro not controlled but directed and influenced by them almost well okay would it be if you're con if you're wanting control anyway that sense of thing because I, I could go on to something else now that I want to keep my thought and track today on this. And so the, the line baby make me pow could allude to the speaker's desire to be transformed or empowered by their connection. The chorus, as we went out with it, said, rest your feet to me, my lady of mercy, strike me, pierce me straight. And you see her in the video with the sword in the heart, expressing a plea to be accepted to be embraced by this person despite the potential pain and vulnerability that may come with it and that fleeting moment of being together having a night's passion and then bye bye and never hearing of them again is all part of that chasing somebody because they may use you for that 
So the term Lady of Mercy for me already suggests that this person holds the power and compassion for in the eyes of let's say Abigail who's singing it let's use her so Abigail is in her eyes is, is desiring this person so much that it's, she's almost in a trance with this person when you think of it so we'll go back to I'm um, back and forth between the lyrics and the video sorry everybody then it goes into verse 3 I want to take your picture picture me in bed under your crucifix under your long black hair I'll see you on Sunday I want to make them sing and then the chorus or oh, rest your feet to me my lady of mercy strike me uh, uh, and then rest your feet to me and then it goes out in the outro well to finish off then in that third verse because it's repetitive the longing intensifies as Abigail expresses the desire to capture and preserve the moments they shared with this no they share with this person expressing that willingness to be vulnerable and exposed under their influence some some of us need guidance in life some of us need to not to be controlled but to be I cannot say just not even influence I think all these words are wrong I think just to be guided let's leave it at that we all need guidance but some more than others in other words and the mention of the crucifix and the long black hair could symbolize it could a religious significance it could or a powerful imagery associated with the person being sung about. I think more a powerful influence. Now the bridge and the outro, it's wordless vocalizations, adding to the emotion, that intensive oohs and ahs, and, ah, and that scene where you climax in the video. So it's, that's emphasizing that longing and desire to be present throughout, uh, reinforcing that longing and that desire through the song. That's all it's doing. Overall, I feel My Lady of Mercy, it does capture a yearning to be with somebody who's seen as un unattainable, really. And that can happen to a lot of people. And, and you almost revere them for the wrong reasons. But it also explains that side of us, that's within all of us, that vulnerability, admiration and willingness to endure any kind of emotional pain, physical or mental, and torturing yourself with all of this, for the chance to be with that person so that's it that's my summary of the lyrics the question is is it worth all that emotional mental pain to be with somebody that might use you for sex and then just dispose of you well why not take care